I still can't quite believe it, but this is our new floaty home, Kimberly Joe. 25 years ago, we both thought that if you can't do, teach. We were in it for the long holidays, the short hours, 9 to 3.30, and the chance to sit at the front of the class while the children did the work. That didn't quite work out how we thought. We're now back from four years teaching in China to mess about on boats. So come join us on the waterways of England. So this is our latest morning. You can see the swan coming down there, um, right next to the park. Um, and so here we are, Kimberly Joe. Let's check it all out. So I'm just locking the door. Um, our new neighbour just there, believe it or not, is an archaeologist. Um, amazing person really. He's 80 years old, coming up to, I think his birthday's in a month or so. So he's nearly 80. He's been doing this for one year. So he started at the age of 79. Um, you'd never think he was 79. Puts us to shame. Um, and where's he going off to, son? Alderney. Where's Alderney? Sounds like something from Star Wars. Where? Oh, so he's off the Channel Islands, so yeah, probably exotic, exotic. Um, a bit like Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones. But yeah, how cool is that though? So that's our new neighbour for the next few days. Teacher knows the best part of a trip, that all the kids want to do. It's where you go buy a pencil. Every school trip, bookmark and pencil. Sailing along, you've got to have your rum. <laughs> Imagine if you'd come in the pirate's outfit. <laughs> oh, I'd be perfect. We've been boarded. Just that. Go past.
So after a somewhat lively night, the next day we had to move because our moorings were only for 48 hours. It was a very short cruise, thankfully, as we made our way down to Twyford Bridge just outside King Sutton. It was a lovely spot and a much needed rest. Great day yesterday. It was a lovely day yesterday. Really lovely day. Thanks to Olivia. Sun came out, which was really nice. End of the night was a bit of a blur when Olivia started ordering shots. <laughs> but uh, yeah, needless to say, we're both not feeling it this morning. Yeah, so we're going on a short cruise uh, out of Banbury. Banbury. Still can't remember Still it. Still can't get it. Out of Banbury, just going down towards. Um, Go on. Go on. You can do it. King Sutton? No, Yay, King, King Sutton. Goes King Sutton. Going down towards King Sutton. So, yeah, just going to go down. You're off to see. Baby James. Yeah, you're not going to talk? You're not going to say anything, son? I just said Baby James. I'm oh, tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I can just be talking. <gasps> and um, also. Oh, I'm so tired. Well, right, so it's just getting over last night, so you're not going to hear much from her, obviously. <laughs> So I'll just quickly say, we're just going down there. Uh, Sonia's off to see Baby, Baby James, James on well, tomorrow. Yeah. Um, just a day trip down there and then come back to the boat. We'll probably stay there for a couple of days, I'd imagine. Just kind of relax the bones a bit after this weekend. Banbury was lovely though. I thought it was a nice contrast we had. Yeah, yeah Banbury beautiful. It's really funny, you approach from the canal and the shopping centre is just a brand new huge shopping centre and it, I was kind of a little bit disappointed because I quite like the bits of history by the canal but literally you walk down the canal a little bit and you've got two leaves and if you walk through the shopping centre it's a beautiful old town lots of lovely old buildings so um, actually it was a really nice place to stop we possibly would have stopped there I know maybe a bit longer but you can get two days two day more into where we were and that was probably the nicest bit we didn't want to we didn't want to go right in the centre, did we? Because we thought it might get loud, a bit noisy. Yeah. So, yeah, that was just our thinking behind it. We had a really nice spot just in the park. It's a bicycle park. It was actually really quiet. Yeah. Considering it was a park, you know, like you often hear. Yep. Don't park, don't walk near a park because you get um, noisy and people hanging around. Don't want to come out at all. Yeah, no, exactly. Very impressed with them. We liked it a lot. Especially as a bank holiday as well, so it was as busy as it was going to be. Just as we were leaving Banbury we spotted this, the Juniper. It's the boat of one of the boaters we were with the night before. You'll notice on the front the little boat, and the reason I like it is the little boat is called Berry.
test for the microphone. If you can hear me, if I can hear this, then it's doing well on the microphone because that is a lot of noise going over the bridge here. Bank holiday Sunday. So people still busy, places to go. Just chugging along. After Sonia's success with Clarkson, catching on to her how to do hedges, she's now set up her own little project for the boat. She's got three pots and a tray, she's got tomatoes, lettuce type stuff, peppers, strawberries. Let's see how they go. And a rose to repot. And a rose to repot. to do my tomato. I missed it then, but I've got it. I don't open too much, otherwise there's little peat everywhere. Wrong. Uh, no one likes peat. Peat anywhere. We sow the seeds. <laughs> Nature grows the seeds. We eat the seeds, is that the next one? We're, it's Neil, isn't it, the young ones? And chilli peppers. Oh, we'll use them in. You don't even eat chillies. She was very nice, wasn't she, at the nursery? She was. I've just got to hope that the pots are heavy enough to withstand any winds or me crashing into a lock. Chili seeds as well. That's cool. A tomato plant that is suitable for pots and Chili and this is my lettuce, strawberries, and my rose. Done. In here, I've got strawberries, and in here, I've got chili peppers, and that's my little lettuce pot, and that's my tomato plant. Brilliant. And you've got another pot somewhere, yeah? I've got a little pot in the front where I bought chili seeds by accident. So I've put some chilli seeds in there and they're in the front, under the front cover which acts like a little bit of a greenhouse. And then inside the boat I had to repot my rose but I can't, I don't know if it's an indoor and outdoor rose yet so it's kind of indoors. Where is it? It's inside on the counter. That's the indoor rose then. It is now but it might actually have to be an outdoor rose, I don't know.
love these when they've had the old buildings where it used to be. So Hovis, that obviously used to be the butchers. Just joking, the bakers. Beautiful little village. Just walking down through it now. On our way to walk back to the boat and move on to Pig's Place. As you can see, beautiful little country village. Right, so today's issue. There's the gate we need to go through. Right by that cow. Let's hope the cow moves. Hey, you guys. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that you don't bother me. Did you go stand by the other gate? It was a very um, tiring weekend, to say the least, but uh, it was so good to have some people um, come and visit. Wasn't it? Exactly, and it was really nice as well once we got to Ty Twyford Wolf. Twyford Wolf, just chilling out for a few days next to that farm. Really lovely place and a beautiful village, King Sutton as well. So, yeah, right to King Sutton. Yeah, so it was really good. Just now it's time for Sunday to do her timings. If you liked the video, please press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please press the subscribe button, it's free. And if you want YouTube to notify you the next time I upload a video, please click the bell icon. Fantastic. So, Tide like to say goodbye. Tide. <laughs> as close as I can come now. There's no Tide on a canal. <laughs> oh, I was going to wave goodbye, but oh. Tide thought I'd say goodbye instead. Anyway, have right. a good week, everybody. See you all next week. Bye.